Here in New Jersey, the NEC Women's Bowling Championship has returned to Howell Lanes for the second straight year. Straight, it's made of polyester, so the ball's not going to grab the lane like we like our first ball to do. She was definitely looking to get that ball to the left of the head pin. Rocca. With nine, that will be a winner. Caldwell will take that match 4-0. 169 to 166. We have opened up the 2016 NEC Women's Bowling Championship with a massive upset. You mean to get smarter and stronger as well. These kids are athletes. They're gonna come out here and perform. Great shot on the left lane, continuing with seven strikes in a row. LIU Brooklyn in the Opening round of our qualifying morning takes down St. Francis Brooklyn four to one. That looks like a great shot, and it is. Christina Genova as the winner of match number four. They will qualify as the three seed in the championship rounds on the first day of the NEC Women's Bowling Championship. Great shots there by Jamie. And so our first elimination match of the morning goes in favor of St. Francis Brooklyn. The defending champs are eliminated. They'll have to start with the freshman Kulaga. But first, this is Wing. Brooklyn, nine pin. Four one in favor of St. Francis, Brooklyn. With that strike there in the 10th frame, LIU is gonna take this match. They take down Sacred Heart four to two. They've won all three matches they've bowled today here at the NEC Championships. St. Francis Brooklyn trying to make a comeback after falling behind three nothing in games. Four to two the final, 219 to 202, a couple of really strong scores. Stavuski. Lineup change for Sacred Heart as well. With a great shot out of the gate with a strike. Sacred Heart takes it. Four to two. She likes it. Yeah! LIU is taking game seven on lane six. Four to three. The Blackbirds win 211-191. Congratulations, LIU. What an amazing performance. As a player myself, there's nothing better than Natasha setting up the 10th frame to give you the opportunity to strike. How did that feel to perform in the 10th frame? Oh, it was awesome. Natasha and I really work well together, so I'm glad she was four and she put it there for me and I just filled it in for her. I did it for her since she's a senior. And you certainly delivered. Okay, Madison, hometown crowd behind you. <laughs> Striking the first eight out of eight shots that you made. How did that feel to have everyone behind you? It felt amazing, honestly. Like, my adrenaline was pumping. Like, I was just so excited that I could perform. Great. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome performance. And Kayla, what a decision that you made to make that change. You had some lineup changes going on with your team, as well as an addition of Madison into the lineup. What, what proposed those changes? We came down, you know, every lane that we go to changes from match to match. So especially the switching around of the same people, it's who felt more comfortable on what lane, you know, making a little move in, uh, trusting it, and that's what they did. <laughs> well, these girls certainly trusted it, and I loved the setup for, match, for game seven. Lane five definitely looked to be the better lane. Every game during that match was one on lane five. Lane six was going to be the tough lane. What changes did you make on lane six to prevail in that game seven? Fortunately, we finished the fifth game first, or the sixth game first, so I looked at the girls and we knew that they had the choice, and I was like, I don't think that they're gonna leave us here. Um, <laughs> so we just kind of took that second, uh, watched how they were uh, playing, how the lanes played, and kind of made our moves based off of them producing their shots. 
Congratulations, LIU. You find yourself with the night off and back tomorrow. So good luck. Thank you.